AP Calculus AB, finding the derivative of a definite integral. We're going to be using the second fundamental theorem of calculus. Uh, I'm laughing because I've started this video about five times, so I think I'm finally going to try to get it done. So here it is. I'm going to take this function and I'm going to say that f of x is equal to the integral, in this case from 0 to ln of 2x of t plus 1 dt. So using the fundamental theorem of calculus here, what we're going to do is make sure that we have, that we fit the criterion here. We have a constant value as our lower bound. Our upper bound is a function. We're using a, de and we're using a definite integral, so all the conditions are met here. And all we're going to do is we're going to, sub we're going to start off by substituting in our upper bound value into the t. So it's going to look like this. We're going to take Here we have t, so t, gonna, every place I find t, I'm going to put in ln of 2x plus 1 here, right? And then the, the last thing we're going to do, because here we have this function, is that we need to multiply this by f prime at x, let, letting this be this little f of x up here, okay, this little f of x. So ln of x, I'm sorry, ln of 2x, ddx of that, is equal to 1 over 2x, isn't it, times 2, which is equal to 1 over x. So we'll multiply this by we'll holding by 1 over x, and we'll find out very simply that f prime at x in this case is ln of 2x plus 1 all over x. And there we have it. So that's actually pretty simple. People get a little bit freaked out by it. Uh, I, and there, there's another way to go about this, but this is how you would do this using the second fundamental theorem of calculus. So let's do one more quick example, if you don't mind. As a matter of fact, let's see if we can. Yeah, let's do another quick example. And let the example be this one. Let's take something that's similar. Let's take f of x is equal to the definite integral from 1 to ln of x of t squared plus 3 dt. I'm going to do exactly the same thing here. I'm going to substitute in the upper bound into the equation. The equation says that it's t squared, doesn't it, plus 3. So I'm just going to take my ln of x and put my ln of x here. So that was really, really easy. The last thing you have to remember to do is take ddx of that. So ddx of ln of x is just 1 over x, right? So ddx of ln of x, as we know, we have memorized, is just 1 over x. I'm going to multiply this whole thing by 1 over x and find out that f prime at x is equal to ln of x squared. We have to do this quantity squared, wouldn't it? Plus 3 all over x. So it's a really, really simple tool to use. Um, your textbook is going to show you other ways to do this. This is definitely the way I would pursue this whenever possible. So, hey, thanks for watching. If you haven't already subscribed, please do. And uh, your comments are always welcome. Appreciate it.